My name is Rachel Van Meter, and before I found the Lord, I was lost. When I was young, I grew up in the Catholic Church and went to church very regularly and went to religious education classes and did all the sacraments but I still didn't feel very close to the Lord personally. I felt that I knew all the rules, I knew the sayings, and I knew the prayers, but I really didn't know a lot more. So I guess I was kind of wandering through life lost, not sure exactly where I was or who I was um, in the world. And even though I felt very confident um, in my faith, and I had a pretty good prayer life, I just didn't really get it. And as I grew older, um, the time between church um, visits grew slower and slower. And then after I had my own family, my husband and I found that we were only going to church on the holidays. And that's not really where we wanted to be or we wanted our children to be. Once our oldest daughter was old enough to go to preschool, from very many recommendations, we chose to send her to Woodville Grace Brethren and met so many wonderful people that were just so kind and so caring and um, openly invited us to join them at church. And um, for three years I was hesitant because I was Catholic and I could not stray from that and it would just, it would not mesh well for me to go anywhere else. Then. Um, after my husband and I had been dealing with some very stressful issues, we thought that um, really the only way that we could get through them and really um, be happy in our life is if we did um, start going to church and try to have a relationship with God and the Lord. And that's when um, the lost path kind of tro drove straight to, to Woodville. And I thought, you know what? God doesn't care where we go as long as we go. And it always felt like a warm, inviting place. And that Sunday morning, we woke up, got the kids ready, and came to church. And it was just an overwhelming feeling of, um, of being welcomed. So many people came up, people that we knew, people that we didn't know. They were very happy we were here. Um, and that felt very, very good. And the first service, um, it was kind of different, but it was a good different, and I thought, okay, you know, this, we might be going somewhere with this, you know, we learned a lot, and um, we came the next week and made it, obviously, a, a regular thing that we would, we would do, and I never heard anybody really tell me that we were born with a sin nature. I always knew that I sinned, I always knew that I had strayed, but I never realized that I was born that way, and it was okay, but I learned that there's grace in forgiveness, and um, it was September 14th that I asked the Lord into my heart and said, I am a mess. I am definitely, definitely a sinner, and I need, I need help. I'm bawling, bawling that night and pleading with him. I didn't even really know what I was doing. <laughs> It just came, it came natural, probably because he was calling me. That day will always be special. I'll always remember everything about it. And I thought, gosh, is that, does that seem right? Is that, how, is that how it goes? Then that's when my friend Holly mentioned discipleship to me. And I was very excited because my newfound faith, I wish I could go to church every day at that point. I was like, I just don't feel like Sunday's enough. I just want to get in there. I want to learn more. This is exciting. And... And I loved it. I felt like it was just bursting out of me. And, um, and that really helped me, you know, understand more about the walk that I was on and where I was and what I was doing and the person I wanted to be. And as I read more and learned more, I was like, wow, it really was eye-opening experience and really helped me um, transition into my life and how I lived my life. And I started feeling more and more secure in my life and in my, in my role as a mother and a wife and um, really just surrounding myself with people who were just absolutely amazing and um, that I could look up to and be like, that's, you know, that's 
what I want to be like. And um, I could see a change in my children and in my husband, and it was it was quite amazing. That's when I decided, realized that um, I could really not live this life by my my way. I was failing at it, and I was not doing a very good job. And I said, you know, it's it's in your hands. It's up to you. Please use me. You know, my life is yours. And. Um, and he's given me so many, so many opportunities. And each time I would be faced with a struggle, you know, it was just like I had to learn to give it to the Lord. And I would pray through it and cry through it and um, really learn that I had to full heartedly give it to him. And um, the stronger my faith got, the stronger his presence became in my life. And um, he started showing me that he was around me, and he um, he made a lot of different things happen in my life. And um, some of the big decisions that my husband and I decided, you know, if it's meant to be, you know, God will make it happen, and if it's not, we just have to let it go. And um, it's amazing how he showed us that it's not our timing, it's his. And it hasn't always been easy going on his timeline, but it's the only timeline there really is. So, um just in this past year, he's brought us, myself, from a very hopeless, lost state to one that's very bright, hopeful, and, and secure in knowing that, he, um, that I am his child and he loves me and he will provide for me and he will take care of me even when I don't even know if I can take care of myself, let alone anybody else. Um, and he's really became a rock in my life and knowing that I have that security and that I am able to um, to talk to him throughout the day. Um, if I am struggling in a time in my life that it is just it is just a phase and that he will show me the reason he let me go through that. And that has really, really helped me deal with the ups and downs that we've been going through is knowing that, um, that God's got it under control and he knows the plan and he shows me his will, the more excited and amazed I am to share what I have found. And I must be beaming it because I've had some great opportunities um, to share the Lord with people that I don't even know in parking lots. And um, there's really nothing more exciting than just having a random conversation with somebody um, that you've met in a parking lot and um, telling them about Jesus and, you know, inviting them to church and really feeling like there could be change in their life because I too was just another person wandering around having no idea, you know, really what I was doing or where I was going in this life. And now I feel like I have such a purpose that he has really given me a purpose and everything that I do in this life is, is to glorify him and is to bring people to him. And it's just really, really exciting to know that I am on mission and there's a purpose and even though I don't know it you know that um he will use me where he seems fit and um he's been very evident with that with an upcoming move my family has but um I'm very confident that he has orchestrated this because he has made things happen amazingly we have prayed and prayed and prayed and he has very faithfully just taken care of everything um, pretty amazing, really. I mean, stuff that most people wouldn't believe if you if you told them. But um, but that's I tell them my story, and I and I tell them everything the Lord has provided for us. And I say, you know, He's real, and He wants to be a part of your life. And um, there's nothing there's nothing more amazing than that. And um, I just feel like I want to share it with everybody. <laughs>